everyone, I'm Anna, and welcome to The Cove. Today I'm going to be trimming my Amazon Puffer's teeth. Meet Gus and Shelby. They're cute little babies, and I don't know which one's male or female. But here they are, and now I'm going to be showing you what I use. This is the little box that I keep all of my stuff in. My granddaughter got me that a couple of years ago for Christmas. I need three cups of tank water, clove oil, cuticle trimmers, and an eyedropper. Now you can find this at Walmart in the toothpaste aisle. It's for um, deadening tooth pain. So here's Gus. We've got him in just plain tank water. This is clean tank water and um, he's just sitting there. I've got him just sitting there waiting. And I put three drops into the three cups of tank water and stirring it up. And then I put Gus in there. And it takes a couple of minutes for him to get completely relaxed. And when they pass out, they turn over just like that. And it kind of scares you, makes them look like they're dead, but they are not. Um, as you can see, I used black gloves, but I had to take that off because he was too slick and kept sliding out of them. So it's a lot easier for me to use the um, uh, net to hold him in. And as you can see, his nice little toppers there, if I can get it. There we go. Cleared up. Um, but he's got some good choppers and uh, so I got to get those trimmed down so he can chomp on some snails. And there we go. Now he's going to go back in the container of regular water. Here we do, we're doing Shelby and Shelby is real scared. Um, so I had to do her really fast and I didn't get her waking up, but, um, as you can see, she started to puff up on me as I was trying to do this. So I had to get her done really quick. So I stopped filming right after I cut her teeth. You can see right here, she's holding her breath. She's not gasping like Gus was. Because she's just, she just freaks out so easily. And there she goes into the water. So here's Gus waking up from his little tea trimming adventure. Uh, I sped this up a little bit because it takes about six to seven minutes for them to wake up completely. And now we've slowed back down so you can actually see his little fins moving. His pectoral fins are going and his uh, dorsal fin will be wiggling around here in a minute. Now I have to do this teeth trimming about every six to eight months because Amazon Puffer's teeth grow constantly. They don't stop. And in my tanks, I don't have enough rocks and shelly snails and stuff for them to trim their teeth on. So this is what I have to do. It's really a job for advanced fish keepers. Amazon puffers are a peaceful fish that are a wonderful addition to any community tank. Mine share a tank with tetras, guppies, and corys. Again, these are not for the beginner fish keeper. These fish require handling every six to eight months. Hey, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell too, just so you won't miss anything else that I upload. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.